Hey guys, welcome back to Underdog Magician Tarot. Hold on for a minute. Okay, sorry. Welcome back to Underdog Magician Tarot. <laughs> this is your girl Cheeky. I'm going to be giving you some updated messages for the sign of Virgo. So if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, these messages may or may not resonate. Please take what apply and leave the rest. If they do resonate, please like and subscribe. For the ones that are new to my channel, I'm still recovering from a mini stroke that I had May 16th. So my voice is still kind of a little off. I got to take breaks sometimes to be able to catch my breath because sometimes talking for a long period of time makes me lose my breath. So I have to stop and regroup or whatever. But yeah, we're going to get these messages out regardless. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Death card. So, oh my God, what was that? Did y'all just, hold on y'all. What the fuck was that? No, let me keep the camera rolling in case some other shit happen. Bro, somebody just hit the table, son. Like, y'all heard that? Somebody just hit the table. And my dog was over there playing on the rug in the front room. Yo, that was crazy, yo. Somebody just hit the table. Like, wow. Okay, so. Let me get back to it. There could be a new financial beginning happening for you right now, Virgo. I was also picking up on, you know, some of you could have been, like, dealing with family members that you felt like didn't care about you or that didn't love you, but there was an epiphany here. Something happened where it's like you realized that somebody did care about you. And I feel like if these people came to support you, I feel like they're also being blessed to have a new financial beginning as well when it comes to their life, their job, their career, whatever. But we also have the Four of Pentacles, the Temperance, and the Nine of Cups. There could have been someone trying to hold you back from having this. But Spirit says no with the Temperance card here. I feel like you could be at peace now. There's something about there's something that happened that allowed you to have peace and harmony. You could have wished for this. You could have wished to be at peace and harmony with yourself or a particular situation. I'm also hearing that someone was removed from your life, which is now allowing you to have peace and harmony. With the King of Cups here, there is somebody that wants to um, make you an offer. Yeah, we got the Ace of Cups here. This person could have also been waiting for a cycle to end with you in the air sign. Some of you could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hold on. We got the King of Swords. Oh, we got the Ace of Cups, the King of Swords, and a World card. Yeah, it's like somebody could have been waiting for you to end the cycle with an air sign before making you an offer. The Ace of Swords here. Somebody wants to tell you how they truly feel. This person could have also went through some type of death here. Some type of change, transformation, rebirth. What else? Yep, we got everything is fine. So, Virgo, if you were worried about this person, or you, if you were worried about their intentions towards you, if you've been asking God to give you a sign that you were making the right decision when it came to this person, or is this person the right person, you know, to be dealing with, they're letting you know that everything is fine. It's like, take the offer or whatever. Have courage. Have confidence. Bro, somebody just hit the table door. I still can't get over that. What's the Ace of Swords? Oh, they're probably mad at me because I keep doing the video over. Like, I did a video over, like, probably, like, six times already or probably seven times because it's not, it wasn't, I mean, I know I ain't supposed to try to be all perfect and shit, but I don't want it to be stupid either. With the Ace of Swords, we got the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so somebody is now 
gaining clarity when it comes to you being single and abundant on your own. Or you could be. I feel like, Virgo, the moment you decide to choose yourself and be single, it's like whatever you've been wishing for started coming into fruition faster. Versus you being with somebody that wasn't, that you weren't, you weren't supposed to have been around. This person was not allowing you to grow, right? So when you decide to choose yourself and love you, I feel like you gain some type of clarity that this is where my abundance is. Your abundance is you. You loving you, you choosing you. You being by yourself, you doing something on your own. But there is new love here. So what they're saying is if you want it, it's here. But if you want to be by yourself, Virgo, then stay by yourself. Shit. That's your decision. Yeah, see? The world card here. When you chose yourself, that ended the cycle with you and someone who was causing you pain, hurt. Someone that was in competition with you. Conflict, causing conflict, chaos, whatever. What's a death card? Yeah, we got the Ten of Wands and the Fool card here. So, we got the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, there was someone, like I said, there was someone that was removed here. This person could have been causing you to feel burdened. I'm going to cover. Sorry. They could have been called they could have been causing you to feel very burdened. Or they wanted you to carry their burdens or something like that. But you're getting a new beginning here. This person could now be feeling burdened. Stressed out. They could be having health issues as well. Because they're seeing that you're getting a new beginning. Yeah, they're in regret. Now they're crying over spilt milk. Because they're realizing that you're happy. With the sun car here. And you could be feeling very victorious. We got this, the sun, the six of wands, and the tower. Mm -hmm. So you just recently went through something. The tower hit, but the tower hit in the, like a miraculous way for you, Virgo. It, it really hit in a way where you did not expect for the outcome to be what it is right now. It's like you're shocked. To even know how things turned out or turned in your favor. <laughs> Excuse me. And I've just seen the King of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So this person, this air sign could be feeling stuck stuck and trapped mentally. Or they can physically be stuck. They could be locked up. Or they could be in spiritual jail. Something they did got them removed from your life. They wasn't trying to, they wasn't, they wasn't, um... They were refusing to see something. They did not want to change their ways or something like that. Oh, my God. My dog is chewing up this derm. Hold on, guys. Okay, sorry. I'm back. Not him. That was Monty. He was in there getting water. Oh, come on, man. Maybe it's my blankie. Oh, God. Okay, there it go. No, he wasn't barking the whole time. He barking at you because you're on the floor like a dog. All right, what else, Spirit? Oh, shucks. That's a lot of cards. What is this? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh -oh. Clarify this message with one card, Spirit, please. You used to have a hold on me. Now you're controlling me. I'ma be who I wanna be. Watch no tears walk lightly. Till I have the strength to be. Damn, it feels good to be. Ooh, we got the Queen of Pentacles, your energy. We got the Nine of Pentacles, your energy again, Virgo. And we got the Knight of Swords, baby. And the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the day. So, Virgo. Like I said. Um, whoever this was trying to hold you back got removed from your life, right? I feel like um, 
Once this person got removed, that created some type of peace and harmony in your life and also to allow your wishes to be fulfilled. So now you can be in this Queen of, Queen of Pentacles energy. This Nine of Pentacles energy because of this shift here. Something that happened really, really fast. Like something took off. Something happened really, really fast. Like I said, something happened in a way where you didn't expect for it to turn out that way. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so... Get together, get together, get together. All right. So you could be in this Queen of Pentacles energy and this Nine of Pentacles energy because of this shift that happened for you, Virgo. Something is allowing you to be independent and abundant on your own. You could be focusing on your money at this time. I also see some type of um, brand new cash infusion, infusion coming in for you. Something is shifting here when it comes to your finances, all that shit. Like, yo, something is, like, banging good for you. Mm, that's wrong cards. Damn, what am I doing? Like, it's like you're definitely on the top of the wheel at this time. What is this? King of Cups? The Knight of Cups? Everything is fine. Okay, so we got the Four of Wands. Mm, and the Eight of Cups. And the five of pentacles. So, this person, this new person, okay, I just want to say this. They could have been in some type of relationship or some type of home situation here. I feel like if this person is living with somebody right now, they're, they're walking away or they're moving out of a home. Yeah, with the five of pentacles here, they're leaving either someone out in the cold. This could be... Uh, a person they live with a male female don't matter somebody that this person lives with right now they could be like moving out walking out walking away something like that and they could be coming towards you to make you an offer yeah let me get some more though oh shit that's a lot of cards, Spirit. What's the four of wands, eight of cups? They could be living with a female as well, or a male, some type of, like a roommate, something like that. Well, whoever they're living with, this person is getting ready to walk out, I mean, move out, or leave. Dang, it's a lot of cards, man. Come on, now. I just need, like, one. <laughs> Just one. What's this? Three. Give me one card for the four. Oh my God, Spirit, really? And then give me a thing card. Give me the four. I mean, give me a one card for the four wands and the eight of cups. Oh my God, I just heard this person is planning on how to escape something. We got the eight of pentacles. So this is somebody that they work with. They could have like, um, this person could be like um, somebody that they um, go to work with. They could live with that person. They could work together at the same job or something. They can live in the same house and also work at the same job. Like I said, male or female, roommate, whatever, I don't care. But this person, okay, so what you say, Spirit? This person is coming up with a plan on how to navigate themselves out of this situation like how to walk away leave whatever <laughs> something like that because whoever they're working with is trying to confuse them they could be causing confusion or trying to confuse this person like they're wanting them to stay there talking about like okay for example they could be trying to keep them there to like be the one to pay all the bills while they use their money for other shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. So somebody that they're living with right now could be like trying to manipulate them into staying in the home just to keep the bills paid. Just so the other person can go out and party and, and have a good time and 
and and do what they want to do while the person while your person pay all the bills and be broken stay home and don't have no money to eat or to get what they need for themselves it, whether personal items or whatever whatever this is somebody somebody is trying to confuse them but with the eight of wands here this person could be coming in with some type of fast communication here like this person could be texting you a lot calling you a lot here yeah Mm-hmm. They can be in solitude right now and trying to figure out. Or they could be spending a lot of time alone trying to figure out how to make a decision. How to move forward when it comes to something. Okay, so what's this? Ace of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Used to, oh, it don't fall. Darn it, it did. Hold on. Well, at least it was one card this time. <laughs> we have the lovers that fell. Okay, so. This person is seeing some type of truth when it comes to you being this independent person. And it's like, you know, they're, they're wanting to connect with you. They're wanting to have a relationship with you. Like I said, somebody could have been lying to them. On, like, trying to keep them somewhere. Or they could have been lying to them about you. To keep them somewhere, but this person is seeing some type of, they're gaining clarity to who you truly are. And they're seeing that you're very abundant. You, you could be single and abundant on your own. <laughs> yeah, we got the lovers here. The lovers, the ace of wands, and the fool card. So this person is like wanting to take a risk now. Or they're about to take a risk towards you. <laughs> What's the lovers? They are about to take a risk. If y'all didn't hear what I said. Yeah, we got an emperor. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got the emperor, the six of cups, and the seven of wands. Hell, no, and the ten of pentacles. Okay, so... That just pissed me the fuck off. Okay, so. <sighs> this new person could be getting ready to walk away from a situation where it's like they're dealing with someone that is trying to confuse them to stay in, in some type of environment or a job just so they can have this person doing what they want them to do, whether it's pay all the bills, take them back and forth to work, or whatever. It don't matter. But over here, we have the lovers and the emperor. So there could be your person, a past person that you dealt with, could be trying to come back as well. This could have been a person that was holding you back, trying to have control over you. They could have some type of authority or like power or something, some type of leadership position. It's like now they're coming back. But with the, with the seven of wands here, Virgo, I feel like you need to stand your ground. Or you could already block this person. I was just telling, I was just table thing stop irking me. I know it's probably me anyway though. Okay, what's this? King of Pentacles. Hmm. So there's two people here. That that must be your person and this must be a past person. So decision. Hold on, what? Is it go play? It's okay. Go play, mama. Go eat your cereal and play, bro. Okay, so when it comes to the ace, I mean the king of pentacles, we got the ace of swords and the six of wands. If this is not the past person, this can be a past life person. You could already know this person before, or you could have been dealing with them in the past as well. But... Y'all never really connected on that certain level. But in this lifetime, you will be. So they can be a leader or something here with the emperor. They're also in this king of pentacles energy, just like you're in your queen of pentacles energy that was over here. So both y'all could be matching energies right now. Or they're working on it. Okay. Yeah, we got the two of pentacles. The Awakening card, and we got the Ten of Pentacles. 
Yeah, so they're they're working on balancing out their finances at this time. They was also going through an awakening about this, um, about a foundation here. Something they're building. I'm also hearing that this person could be trying to balance out um, a lot in their life to work on building a foundation for you guys as a union. Hmm. Sorry, y'all. Um. I'm tired too, bro. Like, I'm tired. Okay, so yeah. Let's move on so I can get done. Because now it's just like I'm talking sluggish as hell and I hate it. Alright, we got the Seven of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Cups again. So with the Death card, the Ten of Wands, and the Fool card, the person that was trying to hold you back was trying to also confuse you when it came to this King of Cups. Somebody that really cared about you. They, they wanted you to be confused about this person. But the tables have turned on them with the Wheel of Fortune. And it's like spirit end up moving you into common waters with the Six of Swords. And you end up receiving good news with the Page of Wands. And knowing that this was your soulmate, Twin Flame, whatever, with the, with the Two of Cups here. Okay. Thank you for letting me get through that. Hopefully, I don't got to start this video over because I'm not. I'm going to bed. I'm going to take me a nap. Or I got to do one more reading after this and then I'll probably lay down and watch TV or give me something to eat. Swabby. What message do you have for Virgo Spirit? I hope y'all can, like, hear me good and can bear with my voice as well because it's like, I know it's terrible, y'all. It's fucking terrible. I did not want to do readings for a while, but God told me to snap out of that and just take that risk. Yeah, we got worth. So you're now you're now knowing your worth when it comes to a situation. In your path, we got your path here. You're seeing your worth now that you're on this new path, new journey, new adventure. And you deserve more, Virgo. You deserve more. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be loved the correct way. You deserve you deserve to have somebody that love you the way you love them. We got clearing. So something is clearing when it comes to whatever this per this old person, past person, will try to keep you stuck in the mindset. They kind of the mindset they're trying to keep you stuck in is being cleared away. Yep, we got acceptance. And it's like now you're you're accepting the guidance you're receiving from spirit. And someone could be in grief for what they did to you, Virgo. What else messages do you have for Virgo? Metamorphosis. Trust the process and be patient. Becoming cannot be rushed. Change is beautiful. Yeah, Virgo, you're definitely going through a transformation at this time. Please allow things to flow naturally. Do not rush the transformation. We got we got reconciliation. So you and this person, this, this person that cares about you, will reconcile. For some of you, you probably asking like, when is it going to happen? Um, when they, when they going to call or text, whatever, blase blase. Some of you could already be talking to this person, but they're like kind of on and off right now. Because they're going through something too. Please take consideration that this person is also going through a, a transformation, Virgo, and they're healing. Um, they could be dealing with people around them still that are just like, ugh. But just, just, just wait, Virgo. Just, just, just hold on. Damn. Just hold on, Virgo. They come and give them time. Give them time. Give them time. Yeah, we got gentleness. It says strength is gentle. True kindness has wings, love and action and dowers. So be gentle with yourself, Virgo. Also be gentle with them. Do not become impatient and start to irritate them as far as them being inconsistent or on and off with you. This per like I said, this person could be going through a change. 
just like you are. So just just be patient, Bert. But I hope this helped. Please stay tuned. I will definitely be back. I'm out, guys.